Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. As you all know, the Galaxy Note 10 Lite comes with an in-display fingerprint reader. This fingerprint sensor is optical, which apparently is not as secure as the ultrasonic in-display reader on the S10 family, Note 10, Note 10 Plus and S20s. Now, I thought that since it's not ultrasonic and not as secure as we were told, you wouldn't be able to do any payments using Samsung Pay, for instance, and that you wouldn't be able to check your bank account either. But it actually seems to be more secured than what it was said even by Samsung, because I can do the things I mentioned before. I can pay using Samsung Pay, and I can also check my bank account using the fingerprint sensor. And I'm actually very happy about that. Now that it seems to be a little bit more secured than I thought and that it is the main unlocking method for most people, the next question is how reliable in terms of accuracy it is. We know it's not the fastest in the market, but that's not a concern for me as long as it is accurate. I don't need it to be blazing fast, but I do need it to be accurate. This might be a silly test, but given that this is one of the most important parts of us interacting with our phones and a key part of the user experience, I thought it would be good to test the reliability and accuracy of this fingerprint reader by trying it 50 times in a row and see the rate of failure. So let's get started. I'm going to do the test holding the phone like this because this is how I would actually hold it to unlock it. I suggest that when you register your fingerprint, do it exactly the way you would hold your phone and touch the screen to unlock it under normal circumstances to increase the accuracy. Also, make sure you put some sort of pressure on the screen for better accuracy because it won't work like this. So, let's start the test. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 
42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, So despite the rate of failure being very low and the fingerprint reader being mostly accurate, I still think that the best place for it is here on the power button, like on the S10e, Galaxy Fold, Galaxy Z Flip and other phones. I mean, this is great and cool, but it is mostly for technological bragging points. I think that on the power button not only will reduce the manufacturing cost for companies, but also, this is where your thumb would naturally rest when you hold your phone. Even if it's lying on the table, like this, all you have to do is to register this finger, see, or even this finger, and you can unlock it like this, problem solved. And if you are left-handed, either of these two fingers would naturally rest on the power button when you hold the phone like this, so just register them. But this is my personal opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it has provided you with a good information regarding this optical in-display fingerprint reader on the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would really, really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Hasta la vista.